What? Ruby? I said drop it. Ruby. Miss. Miss. Yeah. 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 Right. You cannot do that! You mustn't do that! One, two, three! Fuck it! Hello everybody, welcome back, I am Anna and today we're gonna be reacting to the seventh episode of the third season of Sex Education. Before we begin today, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons and also remember that if you like my content and you want to support the channel, you can do it by becoming a patron. For just $1 per month, you will have access to full uncut reaction videos and movie reactions. If you like my content, you can also support me by buying me a coffee or making a one-time donation via PayPal. All of this is gonna be in the description box down below. So right now, every couple here is a hot mess. Even Amy is in trouble with Steve. It's it's just a hot mess. We left last episode with Eric kissing another guy in Uganda, and honestly, mm, yeah, I did not love that. I did not like that at all. I do feel like things like that come out eventually, and I immediately just feel bad for Adam. We have also um, Ola and Lily having issues since the trip and um, well you know Otis made the eternal mess that they are and now they have Isaac involved and it's, it's just very complicated and also we have Hope that I believe is going to have her ass handed to her by the whole goddamn school. Do not fuck with teenagers, <laughs> especially this royally. She treated like shit Adam, Carl, and Lily, like publicly shaming them. What? She's an adult. She shouldn't be doing that kind of shit. She, she's in power in that school and she puts them with shameful messages in front of the whole auditorium of the whole school. That was fucked. Okay, so let's see what they have for us today, shall we? Let's watch this. But then, Glenoxy saw Star Lanza for the first time. This animation is very cool. I'm not going. Still feel sick. It's been three days. <sighs> Bit sweaty. <laughs> Sorry. And all eyes are on Mordell Secondary today, as they hold their first open day since the sex school controversy of last term. O'Padden has said she aims to clean up Mordell. But I want you to still feel that this is your family home and a safe space for you to talk about your feelings. Why is my dad not part of this conversation? Because your dad feels that it's better not to talk about these things with you guys. So you can't even agree on how to tell us you might be splitting up? Well, lots of couples have differing opinions on how to parent children. Yeah. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you decided to have a baby and make us all pretend to be a bizarre family. Everything you do seems to turn into a mess, Mum. Oh, no, I'm not going. Uncle Peter's a dick. Adam! I'm just saying... <laughs> how are you? Look at his oh. face. He's so excited well, to see him back. Um. Oh. Okay, let's go. Oh. I need to be with someone who's sure about me because I think I deserve that. And even if you and I were able to work this out, I would still be worried that you'd regret not trying with Otis. And I can't do that. So with respect, I'm taking my heart off the table. Good luck finding your mum. Whoa, that was, I bet that was incredibly hard. But also good for him to say those words and to think that way and not to beg for somebody to, to want them, to love them. Happy open day. Are you prepped? I'm really looking forward to it. That's good. Ah. What are you doing? Run out of clean pants and I'm chafing real bad. 
Whoa, wow, wow, wow. What? It's itchy. You know how big my balls are. Okay, fine. But we are in public. What are we apologising for? You don't do the clinic anymore because you had your heart broken and you couldn't be around me. I don't think you stopped caring. I think you had to protect yourself. Please, tell me this was at least the best kiss of your entire life. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> ah, I'm so proud of you. Otis. Steve, you're in charge of vulvas from now on. If anyone asks, the wobbly bits aren't mistakes because... All vulvas are unique. Good lad. <laughs> they better not be squished. Why wouldn't he talk to me all those years? And Adam's exactly the same. The press are arriving. It's Superman pose. It helps with nerves. There's a TED talk on it. Hope. It's a good turnout. Yes. Lots of prospective students, the press, and all of our private investors. So, uh, <laughs> no pressure at all. Did you talk off me? You have been told repeatedly. I am left with no choice but to keep you in here for the remainder of open day. I think that Jackson is Rihanna in Ocean's 8. So the bone structure in the eyes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can oh, you please look at the rip? Sorry. God, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you, Hope, for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Firstly, I'd like to invite Jackson Marchetti on stage to reclaim his position as head boy. We hope you enjoy. What the hell is going on? Hi. I'm catching chlamydia. I'm writing musicals about dicks. But I'm not embarrassed. What about the windows? Can she open those? What? Ruby? I said Ruby. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> Miss. Miss. <laughs> Now, what's that flirt amount? <laughs> Sucking on my titties like you wanted me, calling me all the time. Like, Bobby, check out my Chrissy behind. It's fine all of the time. Hey, fuck the pain away. Banger, actually. Yeah, clinic thing, getting everyone to talk about their problems. If it wasn't for that, I don't think vaginas be getting drawn on the wall. Oh my god, that clitoris is gorgeous. Hello? Tell me what you think, but I think there's nothing hotter than man cooking. Oh, my daughter's at Lauderdale. She's going through a bit of a tough time at the moment. Quite worried about it, to be honest. She met someone else. I think she, she wanted to leave me. Yeah, I have a problem with trust. But I want to try. And I'd also still be into you if you weren't beautiful. Not that I don't find you beautiful. Also, I do think men can be beautiful too, like a beautiful soul type thing, do you know what I mean? <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, You're good at calling the police on me. Do you have any idea how much that fucked me up? Oh, you've been fucked up about it. Try having your kid taken off you. Mum, I'm 17. I should never have had to report you to the police in the first place. Look, I know I wasn't. Do you think Anna loves her? Yeah, I do. Do the right thing, come on. Come on, just do the right thing. 
you go back to Anna's with me, and then I'll visit, okay? Okay. Oh, I'm a lucky mummy. Oh my God, I feel like... Please just take it before I change your mind. I'm really sorry I didn't. Ooh. Why are you on the floor? I didn't think we were friends. Well, I, I know we don't hang out much. But I think we like each other. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> it's what most artists do. They are brave enough to show the weirdest, most vulnerable sides of themselves in their work. Which helps a lot of people not feel as alone. Thanks, Otis. You shouldn't ever give someone power to humiliate you. That. What he said. Oh, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> if you get dressed up, could be fun. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that would be my thing. I have to tell you something. Echo someone else. Nigeria. Need to go and feed, madam. I love a man who can cook. As I can't bear to waste another precious second of my life pretending to like you. You're awful. But I'd rather all those things than be a pumped up shit of a man like you. You've been a shit since you were a child, and I think you'll be a shit until you die, probably because our dad was the biggest shit of all. And you learned to bully me so he wouldn't bully you. And that is such a great shame. But I am too old for it to be my problem anymore. Good for you! Let's try it. What? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Something's wrong. What? What's happening here? No, no, fuck no. Is she gonna be fine? Tell me she's gonna be fine. I've been thinking about how you don't really have a proper mum and I wanted you to know that even though my mum has money, she's also crap sometimes too. So I was thinking that maybe we could be each other's mums. Mm. Mum. You're welcome, Mum. I love them. Hi. I made the salad. I thought you and Adam might like it. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I just wanted to see you. And I just wanted to say that I know I was hard to live with. But I'm rigid and I'm uptight. And I don't have to be spontaneous or anything close to happy. But I do want to change. I want to try to be the man that you want. Do you think we could talk? I don't want to talk. So if I can't be with you romantically, I still want to see you every day. Nothing feels right when you're not there. It's every day I'm in this place I feel the same No! Oh, this <laughs> Is she okay? Is, is, is she okay? Is Jean okay? Oh god I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight God, I really hope she's fine I, like, I really, really hope that she's fine My heart is gonna tear apart If she's not fine By next episode I have to say that this kind of felt with the whole thing that happened at the school and the, the, the whole presentation and the singing and all of that happening, it kind of felt like a finale. Right up until the middle of this episode, it kind of felt like a finale. Oh god, things are just so complicated right now. I feel like Eric really fucked up second boyfriend in a row that he cheats on and that's 
concerning. That's really not good. That's not good. I like Eric. I love his spirit and his personality, his cheerfulness, how much he likes to be him and how much he does not care about, you know, people disapproving of his sexual expression. But my God, he makes some awful life choices, some awful decisions, and I get that he's a teenager and sometimes it's just you really don't know what you're doing, um, but he has heard some really nice people up until now, and I don't agree with that. I don't like that. Um, Maeve's mom really changing her decision. I mean, like, I'm not gonna take the kid. You take her. Take her back. That was just such a monumental thing. That was that must have taken just like so much strength and courage and I'm so glad that she did the right thing. I understand that she wants the best for her kid, but she's really not in any position to give her the life that a kid deserves because she's an addict and she needs to take care of her first. Um, Otis and Maeve getting together, you know, like, it's like the 10th time that this happens. Um, the, I don't know how long this is gonna last. Um, since the beginning, you know, people who have watched season one with me, season two with me, I don't really ship them. I think they have a good dynamic. I think that I really like them together, just like on a scene together. I think they complement each other really well. They think alike, and she's very sassy, very sarcastic, and he is too. They have very good sense of humor, both of them. I really like to have them on a scene. I really like being friends, interacting with each other. I do not ship them. I'm not mad at them kissing and all, you know. I just I, I don't hate them together. I just don't ship them. So yeah, we only have one episode left. Thank you everybody who has been sticking with me through my very, very long <laughs> reaction of this. It's been weeks now, so thank you to everybody who keeps watching with me. And I hope you have a great day and I will be seeing you around.